Welcome to Breakthrough with Lisa Nichols. I'm Lisa Nichols, and today I have a fabulous guest, Dr. Terry Rouse. Hi. Hi. I'm so excited to talk to you. I am so excited to be here. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes. So listen, tell me about your background and what led you to starting your company and how you serve your clients. Sure. I'm a mom and I'm a teacher. As an educator, I, I worked with children with emotional behavioral disorders and children on the autism spectrum. It led me to several levels of education, discovering all kinds of things about behavior, understanding families and the dynamics and communication and conflict resolution and, and things like that. Going through and working in a classroom, finding things that worked and what didn't work led me to build up my own business and create a system to help families improve their communication and more calmly resolve conflicts. I have a, a stepson or a bonus son who has some very challenging behaviors. I never wanted anyone to feel mm -hmm. the way we did when we couldn't find the support and the help to get through those challenges. I mean, family and friends were saying that we were doing everything wrong. I remember at dinner one time, we were actually, you know, you guys or you, you anyone could raise this child better than you. And I was like, you, you have no idea. You're not, you're not there with us. And so I really wanted to find a way to help other families maneuver and navigate through that crazy chaos. It sounds, Dr. Terry, like your mission was born out of pain. It was born out of pain, not only in your own family, but you said education led you to figuring out. I love the way you politely said it led me to figuring things out, which meant there were breakdowns happening. Yes. Everywhere. Everywhere. And you couldn't do what you were doing because of breakdowns. So talk about just because this is such a sensitive area. I'm a mom. Mm -hmm. I'm a new bonus mom. Right. So I understand I'm an educator. What were some of the breakdowns that were happening that left the parents feeling powerless, you as a mom, as a bonus mom, and some of the parents in your classrooms or some of the cast? What is, what's some of that? Sure, so uh, particularly in the classroom, you know, uh, there are a lot of children who are acting out in school. And this is especially true now, but it has always been true. It's not something, it's not new. It's not new. It's not a new thing. Um, and I think the major thing was that parents didn't know the questions to ask mm -hmm. and teachers didn't know how to solve the problem without the parents. It wasn't a team effort. And you say didn't, they still don't. They like still don't, no. But there, there's someone watching this right. right now going, I don't know That's right. what to say That's or right. what to ask. Right. That's one of the things that I have worked really hard. And I ask my clients, I, I talk to parents, and when I work with individual families, I, I say to them, what is it that you're struggling with the most? And most of the time, they don't even know. And they don't even know what their children are struggling with the most. So finding out where each person in the family feels they are, you know, are they angry? Are they feeling bullied? Are they frustrated? All of these things. And I ask every single person in the family, even the little bitty guys, they can tell you, they may not be able to use words, but they can tell you, you have to ask a three-year-old, what is it you're feeling? What do you want to feel? You know, I want to feel empowered. I want to feel strong. And I, I work through, you know, building resilience and empowerment, autonomy, and improving the quality of the family life. That's what I do. Wow. Did you ever have any doubts that this would work? Um, here you are, you're an educator, you've watched hundreds, thousands of kids. You're a bonus mom, mm -hmm. you're navigating that terrain. Did you ever have any doubts that this would work? And if so, how did you gain the confidence to keep going while you have real-time problems around you and have the faith in yourself right. to create the solution that you need. <laughs> so I, I think really, uh, did I have doubts? We always have doubts. There's a doubt about everything, but it's what you do with it. I was able to take that doubt and I threw it out to really smart professors and teachers and parents. When I would say things like, well, let's use positive tension. Let's talk about what that, that means. And people would go, huh, I didn't think to use it that way. And they did. 
I like that phrase. Say it again. Positive attention. Positive attention. Positive attention. And it's not what you think it is. Positive attention is looking at someone and recognizing them for who they are and what they've done. Not just going, oh, you did a good job, Lisa. What does that mean? But if I said, Lisa, you did such a great job on that television show the other day. I love the way you asked the questions. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Mm. And our children, and as adults, mm -hmm. if we hear that, mm -hmm. we know what we want to do more of, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we do it. What gets celebrated gets repeated. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. That's basically, you know, really taking my doubt and asking for help. Ah. And I didn't actually ask for help. I just kind of like asked, what do you think? Yeah because for a long time, nobody asked me what I thought. Mm. And that also disrupts the concept of the solopreneur, mm -hmm. the lonely preneur, the do it by myself preneur Correct. to bring community in, in different ways. What was a big breakthrough moment in your business? There was a moment when you go, wait a minute, the solution has been born through the problem. And I've navigated enough terrain where, when was that, what was that moment like? What was the big breakthrough moment? The breakthrough moment actually came when I was working still in the classroom. Okay. And all these things were sort of working. <laughs> and I went, if they're working here, they can work outside of the classroom too. And I started to implement those things with private so clients. And you kind of go, hmm. Right? That's exactly what it was. It was kind of like, Oh, wow, this works. Let me show other people. Let me get excited about this. That's what I did. And when, when parents were able to then take what I was doing, and I was able to actually implement things like that even at home, right? It was like, oh, this works. We can do this. Anybody can do this. What was the most sacred thing you've heard from a parent that you said, I'm going to mentally put that in a frame because hearing that mom say that or that dad say, what's that one thing you've heard that just is frameable for you? I don't have to do this alone. And I am okay being imperfect when I can express how I'm feeling and allow my children to express how they're feeling and what they're thinking. It's golden. It will all come out in the wash the way it's supposed to. Mm. Now, what's your best piece of advice? People would almost call you the parenting expert. <laughs> they could rightfully so do that with yeah. all of your history, both as a bonus mom, as an educator, sure. and now as a service provider for parents and families to have peace. What would your advice be for people to break through in this world of business today? Because you made a business out of solving a problem. Mm -hmm. So what would your best advice be to entrepreneurs and people who need to make a breakthrough in their business in this climate? I think the first thing is to find what it is that's in your heart and for whom do you want to do it? Mm. Know your market. Know your market. And I don't even like to say know your market, just know your people, know, know your, your tribe. Humans. Yeah. Right. Then it is to Put yourself out there. Remember that you're perfectly imperfect and that's exactly the way you're supposed to be. You're gonna have things that work and you're gonna have things that don't work. Just consistently tweak and tweak until you get what you're looking to find. Mm -hmm. Listen, there's so many parents, there's so many educators, there's so many families that need you. Peace is priceless. So how can people reach you if they'd like to learn more about how they can work with you? Okay. So the first way is to just reach out to me at drterryrouse.com and we can schedule a call and just have a chat and I will give you something that you can implement at that very moment. The other way is to look out for Snuggle Bunny Storytime. Right now it's on Facebook where I read a children's book. I use a document camera, read a children's book so parents and children can see and hear me and the story and my Snuggle Bunnies. And this is for you. Oh. I this am, is Snowflake. And I am going to snuggle. <laughs> <Snowflake>. <laughs> you know, people can join that group and I'm happy to have them there. And yeah. At the time that we're recording this, my son is 29 and navigating the terrain of being a mom, figuring that out mm -hmm. and then being a bonus mom mm -hmm. recently and being in the era of education. I worked in right. the school district for a while. I understand the value of what you bring. Thank you. So I want to say thank you for... Uh, rising through your own discomfort, Thank your you. own challenges, 
to finding a solution and then being willing to share the solution with us. Thank you. I'm grateful for you. Grateful for you. I'm Lisa Nichols and this is Breakthrough with Lisa Nichols. And we've just been with the wonderful Dr. Terry Rouse. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.